Hi, welcome. Today we are going to study intensive and extensive properties. Let us start with intensive properties. A property which does not depend on the quantity of matter present in the system is known as intensive property. So here I have highlighted the words does not. So a property which does not depend on the quantity of matter present in the system is known as intensive property. See for examples pressure, temperature, density, concentration, boiling point, surface tension, refractive index, viscosity, freezing point, these all are the intensive properties. See, suppose initially in this beaker there is a 250 ml water. Now if we add again 500 ml water into that beaker A, so total it will become 750 ml water. Now if we consider the pressure, the pressure of that 250 ml water and when we add 500 ml of water into that beaker A, then it becomes 750 ml but the pressure of that water remains the same. This is again same about the temperature. If we see the temperature of this 250 ml water, now suppose it is at room temperature that is having temperature 25 degrees Celsius. Now if we add a more 500 ml water into it again which is at a room temperature that is 25 degrees Celsius then the temperature of that 750 ml water is a 25 degrees Celsius. It does not become 25 plus 25 that is 50 degrees Celsius. It remains that 25 degrees Celsius. So these intensive properties are not additive. These are not the additive properties. So in definition we have seen a property which does not depend on the quantity of matter. Whatever the quantity of matter, it doesn't matter. Initially temperature was 25 degrees Celsius. Then we have added water again which is at 25 degrees Celsius. On addition of that water, again total temperature remains the same that is 25 degrees Celsius. There is a no addition. Now this is again uh, about the density, concentration. Now see boiling point. Now if we consider the boiling point of this 250 ml water now suppose it is a uh, we know that 100 degrees celsius is the boiling point of water boiling point of water now if we add again uh, a more water 500 ml water into that beaker now again uh, the boiling point of water remains same it is 100 degrees celsius it does not become 100 plus 100 200 degrees celsius okay so there is a no addition so these all are the intensive properties. Now we will see extensive properties. Now these extensive properties are just opposite to the intensive properties. Definition is a property that does depend on the quantity of matter present in the system is known as extensive property. Now here again I have highlighted the word does. So as it is opposite to the intensive uh, the extensive properties are not are additive properties. In definition we have said a property that does depend on the quantity of matter present in the system. So initially there is some, some quantity again then we add more quantity now they, they get added. So extensive properties are the additive properties. See for examples mass, volume, number of moles, enthalpy, entropy, internal energy. Now see suppose initially in this beaker 250 ml of water is there. Now we have added more 500 ml of water into it so it becomes 750 ml. Now there is increase in volume again there is increase in mass number of moles are also increased. So initially suppose volume was 250 ml. Now we have added 500 ml of water more then the volume become 750 ml so that two quantities get added 
सो वॉल्यूम इज ए एक्सटेन्सिव प्रॉपर्टी इट्स डिपेंड अपॉन दी एक्सटेंट वॉट मैटर इज प्रेजेंट इन दैट सिस्टीम सो दैट गेट एडेड सो दीज ऑल आर दी मास वॉल्यूम नंबर ऑफ मोल्स एन थेल्पी एन ट्रॉपी इंटरनल एनर्जी दीज ऑल आर दी एक्सटर एक्सटेन्सिव प्रॉपर्टीज सो इन एग्जामिनेशन डेफिनेशन्स आर आस्ट डिफाइन इंटेन्सिव प्रॉपर्टीज एंड एक्सटेन्सिव प्रॉपर्टीज एंड इन द कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जामिनेशन्स द मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन आर आस्ट एंड इन दैट क्वेश्चन द प्रॉपर्टीज the gives properties and uh, ask to identify which of the following are the intensive properties or uh, which of the following is not intensive property which of the following are extensive properties or uh, which of the following is not tan extensive property so such a type of questions are asked in a competitive examinations and uh, definitions are asked in a university in an university examinations thank you